Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have just a quick unboxing and overview of Spectrum's smart technology charging system. And that includes power supplies, batteries, charger, chargers, even um, uh, the smart uh, checker and servo driver, and then the cable, associated cables, and then how all this links up to your transmitter. Now I'm new to this system and I'll be uh, showing you guys uh, this later in a video once I get some kind of field testing done of it and I have a little better idea of how it works and I'll, I'll do another video on that. In the meantime, if you guys need info about it, I will put links below. If you guys do purchase from our links through Horizon, we do get a little commission for that and we do appreciate you guys supporting our channel. But I need to give you guys the real deal on this and really show you how it, how it is and how everything works. I am due out at the field in about an hour and a half and I'm running late and I want to see how quick and easy this is to plug in because apparently the, there's battery chips and here's the biggest deal about this. The chips within the batteries here, and I'll throw a picture up here, they communicate once you plug them in through a third data cable. You can see the third cable between these. Uh, they communicate with your um, chargers, and your chargers automatically, your chargers automatically know stuff like the brand of the battery, chemistry, cell count, capacity, number of charging cycles, um, how many discharges, C rating, temperature, and the internal resistance of the battery. So all this measures it, and every time you plug it in, it knows that chip and it immediately knows what battery it is. So if you've had something like an un unhealthy overcharge or you've had a discharge or something or an over temp on your battery, this will know it and it'll kind of start telling you, hey, the batteries there's a problem with or something, kind of save your model that way and they all communicate. And the chip within this thing right here um, also plugs into some of, and I'll put a picture up here, your smart receivers that are starting to come with some airplanes and then those smart receivers, um, oh, I'm sorry, smart ESCs, those smart ESCs also plug into your smart receivers and all this information gets communicated right to your display. And I, th I think it's gotta be DX, DX series or higher radios, but you can get all your telemetry off your batteries, um, off of your receivers uh, and off of your speed controllers and it gives you the information on your radio. So pretty sweet setup. And again, this is what it looks like. You've got your data wire running through the middle and part of the beauty of this whole thing, and there it is running through the center here, part of the beauty of this thing is, is these are compatible. They're all backwards compatible um, with your old uh, EC series connectors. So everything plugs right in. So instead of the EC5 connectors and the EC3 connectors, we now have IC5 connectors and IC3 connectors. So um, that's the distinction in these, but they're all backwards compatible. You can kind of plug them all in and you can go with it. So without further ado, let's get this stuff out. I did have these out a little bit because I did have to do a little bit of uh, balancing earlier on uh, of some airplanes and I needed the batteries to, to do it. This one I'm gonna show you here is simply just uh, six cell, 3200, 30C. And this you'll be able to see in the video at the end of this and probably at the bottom of, uh, and I put my sticker on it as you can see so I don't lose it, and the weight of it. Uh, this is this is gonna be flying, actually both of these are gonna be flying uh, in the uh, the brand new uh, E-Flight uh, A10 twin 64 millimeter. But you can see everything's black and labeled. Like I said, your chip is buried in there and you now have uh, black balance cords and you can see your third data line going into that chip that we uh, just saw. So. Uh, I got a 4050C. Let me see if I can get this thing off of here. Uh, we'll put these boxes aside here. We'll get these out of here. And everything comes nicely packaged. Again, I, I did already have this stuff uh, out of here already. And you just unwrap those. They put a little piece of foam to protect everything. And there you go. So again, I put my uh, sticker, business number, all that stuff on there. And you guys can see it's just a really nice battery. I really do like the orange um, the, uh, the orange positive wires, uh, just very nice there all the way around. Just a little little break from the red and black. Uh, obviously black is, uh, is black and it's negative and red is positive and all that. So we'll get this uh, power supply out of here. This uh, is probably very similar or if not like just really a clone of some of the other power supplies that have been out there. Uh, but now this one is being offered by Spectrum under their name and the beauty of it is, is obviously Spectrum and Horizon Hobby, uh, they do warranty all this stuff. So we actually have, have a warranty with this. Instead of buying it from, from some sort of brand X place, we now, we now actually have some coverage on it and uh, that's actually kind of nice. Um, I've had a lot of chargers I've bought in the past 
from more fly-by-night companies, which will remain nameless. And they've been good chargers, but sometimes they don't hold up, and then you got no support for it. So buying it through Horizon, uh, you know, getting it at Spectrum or whatever, at least you got a year warranty on all of these things, hopefully to hold up. So you got a power cord here. You have uh, one connector to join up uh, one charger, but I think all the chargers actually do come with that. So. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the meantime here is I'm just going to plug this in because, folks, uh, I'm no joking. Uh, I'm supposed to get out to the field and, uh, and get this stuff uh, and uh, do some flying. Uh, you notice here it does say here must connect earth and earth terminal to ground. So it's saying you've got to have a ground wire to, to get this thing going. And you can see it has a real nice display. It's all metal. Voltage uh, indicator there, voltage adjust, and then you also have USB power. So if you need to charge your phone or something. Uh, you got outputs uh, right here, so you can plug two chargers into it easy. And then you got fans, so you don't want to block the fan ports. I think one of these goes blows in. One blows out, and that's what gets everything sort of uh, circulating here. So let me pull this off of here. I'll put this aside, and we're going to plug this thing right in and just have it uh, here ready to go. I'm going to move these uh, cables over here, and uh, we'll get this thing going. I'll actually uh, I'll power that up and see how it, uh, how it comes on. Let you adjust your voltage right here. You can see that uh, that working nice, and uh, that's it for that. So uh, you can plug uh, plug in your cables to get one of these things going, and I'll get that ready to plug in a charger. So we'll look at one of the smart chargers. This is the 1200, uh, and uh, really a nice charger uh, all the way around. It looks like 200 watts. I'll look, show it right there. 200 watts of, uh, of of power handling. So that should be able to charge just a, a little bit. Uh, plenty of what you need. This is the S1200. This is the S1500. Uh, uh, this is 500 watts, baby. So that'll charge just about anything. And we'll show you what this looks like. It has a very nice little miniature kind of manual in here. I'll pop that out of here. And then the charger comes right out and it's at a little bit of an angle you can see here. And then down below, you've got to get in here and there is a cable. These are kind of short. It would have been nice if they made this a little longer, but this is to connect your, uh, your charger uh, actually to the power supply. So uh, the instruction manual is very nice. It clearly goes over what everything else is, everything is in here. And uh, it, it'll, it'll just go through what you need. So um, now since I already have one cable out, I'm probably just gonna leave this alone. And let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's see how fast this thing really is to go. You can see here on the charger, this is a peel away face. And there's also peel away foot pads too that make these grippy. Um, and they probably do that just for transport. So if you peel those off, this thing will grip the ground much better. But you basically have input power, which it shows right here. This is for, I'm pretty sure, up updates, like software updates and stuff. This is your output power, uh, as much as, uh, as you can see here, 25.2 um, for a six cell. And then your, your balance port in there. And that's really it. You got a jog controller. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you do this. Again, I haven't done this, guys. We're gonna twirl this around. That's your start button and so forth. But uh, let's, uh, I'm going to turn the power off here. I'm going to plug this in to your input source. And then I will go ahead and, well, I just turned it off. Let's turn it back on. Let's get this thing going. Let's light this up and see what it does. A lot of times you can peel away the protective film that's on here. I usually leave mine on for a little bit until it gets all damaged up. Then I'll pull it off, and that gives you a little more screen life without damaging anything. So we got this out of the box. First time I've had it out of here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get an adapter to plug into here. And that's what some of these adapters are. You notice there's tons of different cables and things that you can get. And you might need an adapter adapter cable like this for your, your, uh, your output channel. So we'll plug that in. And let's use the little charger, the smaller charger, the, the two, two, uh, 200 watt charger uh, on the smaller battery. And let's see how we go. We plug that in and let's see what it does. I go ahead and I plug in my balance cable. We'll stick that in there and let's see what it says. Okay, Spectrum Smart. It seems to know that it is a six cell. I'm gonna push the start button and press it again and let it go. And let's see what we got. And there it is, folks. It's charging. It's a darn miracle. See how quick that was? And uh, it's doing its thing. Now, again, I'll do a video of this later on when I get into more detail and I really know how this thing works. But it looks like you can kind of jog around this thing and you can get to, it talks about the capacity um, it gets into uh, internal resistance and uh, talks about watts and volts and, and so forth. So uh, really, really nice overall and it's quick. It definitely works the way that they, they say it will for sure. So 
Then we got the uh, S1500. We'll let that thing charge because, again, I'm due out at the field here pretty shortly. Once again, folks, uh, 500 watts of power with this thing, and it also comes with a charge cable as well. Um, you can see some of the key features on the side of it here. I don't want to go into all that stuff because I want to get out and fly, folks. So I'm going to get this thing out of here. This is a little bit more hefty of a charger here. Let's get this one has a top cover on it. They're switching it up on me and looks like we got another uh, charge cable adapter there and then we've got another manual and again they go over this if I'm not mistaken fairly clearly about what all these things are, how you operate the jog controller and so forth and then what all the inputs and stuff are and that's essentially the same as what the other one was. So let's pull this thing out of here. I don't think there's anything in the bottom of that one. And uh, this is a little bit more of a hefty charger. It looks like it does have the foot pads that come off. Uh, actually, no, these ones are already off it. So these are already grippy and ready to go. 500 watts of power. Stay away. Keep the fan unblocked. Again, your input power is right here. This is for your update. This one has USB at 2 amps as well. So if you need to charge your phone, you got you got a good 2 amp uh, charger there. And everything here pretty much uh, is uh, set up the same way. So. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull the charge cable out that came with it and I'm going to plug that one in. So let's see how quick this one is again as well. We'll go ahead and we'll get this thing in here. Plug that baby in. I'm going to stick this one over here. Let's get that one over and we'll take this and plug it in. Um, it would have been nice to have some of those a little longer. We'll plug that in see how that goes. And uh, we will grab ourselves another charging cable. I think I got a couple extras here. Yeah, here's one right here. We'll open that up. And we'll get this going. We'll uh, plug this in. It looks like all of the IC3s are used for these and obviously for your bigger batteries, your IC5. So let's go here. We'll plug this in. We'll get this uh, all plugged in. It's giving us a beep. I guess it knows what it is. We'll put our balance port right in there. And let's push the button. Let's see what, it's, what it says. It tells you right there. It says it's uh, 4.2 volts, currents is 6 amps. Um, and that's what it wants to charge at. Let me see if I can go to a lower. Uh, let's, go to, let's, let's see if I can lower that a bit. Let's go down to 4 amps. That might have been something I missed on the other one. Because this is a 4,000 pack. Let's press that current. And then let's go to task is charge. And we'll press start. And there we go. We're going. So. Um, this one is actually charging at a higher amp rate, it looks like. Let me go ahead and, uh, now that I'm looking at it, let's see if I can get this one back. I'm going to actually see if I can stop it. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to press charge to charge. And for some reason, I don't know why, it defaulted at 4.8 amps. I'll mess with this later and see if I can figure out exactly why it was doing, why it's doing that. Um, it, for some reason, uh, it wants to charge it that way, so we'll see. But hey guys, this is a real review. We're trying to see what this thing really does. I got it at 3.2 amps. We'll hit current, we'll go back down to start, we'll press start, and we'll let it go. Because I only want to charge my batteries at 1C, that's just really about all I do. So um, we'll let these things charge up, let them all go. This one's charging at 4 amps, as you can see right here. Let's back away. This one's charging at 4 amps, this one's going to be charging at 3.2. Very nice displays overall. They look like they, uh, they are very clear, very easy to read. Um, next up, let me just, uh, while those things are charging, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the uh, XBC100. This is also a, um, a balancer, and I believe it discharges as well. I think it says somewhere on here that, uh, where did it say it did that? It is a battery checker and servo driver, but I think it discharges as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Um, smart technology for charge and discharge settings. Uh, balance, oh, for balancing, that's what it does. It does, it balances. Now they give you a screen protector with this, which is real nice. And I use one of these from a different brand, but this one is obviously a whole lot nicer. And let's see, they give you a cable. So you can feed that cable uh, right through here, through that little teeny tiny hole. And we'll pull that out of there. And let's see if I can be successful. Yeah, I got it. All right, I'm skilled, I guess. That's hard to do on a camera. That would have been two seconds if I didn't have the camera to do with that. But we'll feed this through, pull it through, and now we have something to hold on to it. A lot of times I will put this thing uh, on my belt and secure it there so I don't lose it. So 
you can peel this thing away and put your, when you have time, put your screen protector on there. So very nice quality, the way that they have this thing uh, all set up uh, to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the charging cycle on one of these. And I'm going to unplug this, and we're going to take a look at how nice the display is on this thing. Yeah, I know, we stopped it. Yep, that's right, we did. Uh, and let's plug this in, let's see what these look like. You can see where they're at. It gives you uh, all your display information right there. Very sharp, very nice, bright screen. And let's see if I can go into the menu. And there's all kinds of things. You can set up things and do all kinds of stuff with this. And I'll go in. There's the balance. If you want to start your balance, I don't know if you tap on that or you press this, I think. There you go. Press that. And it will go ahead and it'll smart balance your, uh, your battery. So a lot of features on this. And I'll go into this probably again, folks, in much more detail uh, later. But overall, you'd use these up and down arrows. And there we go. It tells you what the, uh, what the voltage is and everything. So what I'll do is I'll get this thing plugged right back in. I'm going to get this thing charging because, again, I'm due out of the field here shortly. And, uh, again, I'll give you guys more, uh, more information, more data on this as I test these things out. Let me go ahead and start this thing charging. But I tell you what, this is really just as simple as they say it is. You just plug it in and go. Um, I'm not sure why it wasn't set for the proper uh, amperage to, for charging. Um, it, it just it had it set where it was at. Uh, but just know you have that jog wheel to use and, and go through this. So uh, anyway, folks, that is really it. That's all I'm going to really cover in this video. I just want to kind of go over uh, how this thing, uh, how these things, how the easy this thing is to use, what the equipment is, which is essentially your charger, your chargers here, and a power supply. You can use your own power supply. And the fact that these batteries have chips in them, which is so nice, where your chargers can, can know exactly all the data you know on your battery and then these things can talk to your receiver uh, they can talk to the uh, uh, get information from the ESC through the receiver and then all this stuff all this data goes to your radio also so it's all linked together and you get real-time telemetry right on your spectrum radio so anyway folks really sweet setup once again I'll be talking more about this as I as I do uh, as I get it out in the field and really use it more myself and get these batteries charged up and for now, folks, uh, the links below, check those out. That'll take you to more information until I can get a better video out for you guys. And I really appreciate everybody watching and, and checking this out. And look for me at, uh, you know, Joe Nall, Seth, and, uh, and Nall in the Fall. We'll have all this stuff out there for you guys to come see if you guys want to check it out. And um, anyway, folks, that's it for now. I appreciate you watching RC Informer, folks. And as always, we'll see you next time.